Ready to jam here at Zam FM, Vinyl City? With us are some special guests who are no strangers to Zam FM. It's a pleasure of mine to welcome Bunk Bed Junction. Hello. Uh, what's up, everyone? Today we'll be doing something a little bit different. We'll be taking calls from your fans and have you answer some of their questions. Are you ready? Wow, wow. interesting. Ready. Let's go. And we have our first caller. Hello there. Hello. Hi. Hey there. Oh my, I'm really talking to Mayday and Sook. Indeed. <laughs> oh, I forgot how... I'm Jenny. Um, so, uh, I was wondering, is there like a, a leader for Bangbit Junction? Uh, well, we don't really... In a way, I'd say it's May. In the sense that she does most of the running, and I do the running after her. Even if there are conflicting differences between your music styles and beliefs, or is there none of that? Hmm, I'd say I'm more of a by-the-book kind of guy, while May's great at rocking to things by her own intuition and experience. But that doesn't really put a damper on what we want to do as a band. I agree, music shouldn't be bound to any rules. Although, I am still pissed that Zook is using NSR drumsticks. They're good, okay? Even so, they're from the very tyrannical company we're trying to take down. Listen, if you want me to perform my best, then I need to use the best tools, okay? And it just so happens that NSR makes the best sticks. End of story. Ugh. You seem to have a very clear stand when it comes to brand loyalties, Mayday. So inspiring. I'm all about standing by my principles. We shouldn't be supporting NSR, even through their products. We can't be on the fence about things like these. They're just instruments. It doesn't mean anything beyond the fact that they're great at what they do. But your buying and owning them goes to show that you're fine with NSR at some point. I'm fine with the drumsticks, not NSR, May. Okay, I guess we'll leave you two with that. That's all the time we have today, folks. Ah, oh, so sorry. Goodbye, Made in Zook. It was nice talking to you too. Thank you. The pleasure's ours. Thanks for your time, Made in Zook. Hoping to have you two here again soon. a huge pile of notes. What have you got for us, Cliff? This next one might involve a lot of legwork. Introducing the spiffiest boy band around the city right now, 1010. Oh, I've seen them. They're very shiny. And they look quite handsome. I mean, they look quite inhuman. 1010 is NSR's robotic boy band. Complete with the looks, style, and the moves. The size of their fan base is simply astounding. Security for them is tight. I'd imagine. Ah, but don't fret. They're on a city tour right now, and I found a certain spot where your paths could meet. With some effort on your end, you'll be on their flying limousine in no time. Holy moly! We get to ride in their limo too? Sweet! May. What? <laughs> Good luck, you two.
Of limits. Whoa, take it's a parachute, lah, Missy. One day I'll join the Air Force and become a man of the sky. Air Force? Sorry to burst your bubble, but Vinyl City only has a navy. <laughs> what a joke! There's a flying airship that goes around the city. If you look closely, it's actually a battleship. No way.
circus ends now, Ten Ten. Oi! We're crashing your party! Hello! Ten Ten! Look, boys, our one true love is finally here. Let's be the ideal boyfriends and give her our utmost attention. What? Attention! Wait, why are we saluting again? We salute you for gracing us with your exotic beauty, your lustrous hair, your beautiful gaze, even your lips, which form that radiant smile. Our breaths are stifled. Stifled, 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 stifled. <laughs> You don't think you can sway her heart that easily? She's not going to fall for those cheap compliments. You tell him, eh? Hey? Wow. You're just jelly that all these pretty boys are fawning over me. May. Did you hear what they said about my lips, though? <laughs> what have you done to her, Ten Ten? <laughs> Hater's gonna hate. When we show up, we get the sexy mission done. You better put on your tactical thermal goggles because we're gonna bring the heat! Uh! Yeah! Woo! So hot, so handsome! May! What? Factory has got to go. Fire! One, two, three, four! And jam! Mark target! Love and shoot! Fire! One, two, three, four! And jam! Mark target! Love and shoot! Fire! One, two, three, four! And jam! Troops! To the sky! Fire! One, two, three, four! And jam! 
Good work. I think we're done here. Or not! As long as the flag of freedom stands, I will keep on fighting, commencing all kill protocol for Anastar! Not here to finish you. I know you broke Inu's piano. 
You're here for my factory, aren't you? Just do it then. Do it! What are you talking about? We just want to... Fine! Go ahead and break my troops. But know that you'll never break my spirit! <laughs> do robots get injured? How is he even coughing? I'm a cyborg! And the coughs? The blood that I spilled through my mouth? Mouth? I do it for NSR! Okay, we're just gonna head home now. Home? I remember what home was like. I dream of a day where the children can run innocently on the streets again. Their eyes glittering with jubilation. So I made a promise to myself. A promise to bring peace back to my people. And until that day comes, I vow to serve this city with my utmost dedication. Because that is who I am. I got soul! I am a soldier! Oh, what have I become? I have changed so much. The things that I've done in the name of NSR, I would not wish it to my worst enemy when I... Hey! I'm talking to you two! Where are you going? Do you think what you're doing is right? What is it that you guys fight for? What is it that you guys want? Well, I don't mind a sign poster of Ten Ten. May. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on! I have not reached the part about my deployment to the Ascot Faction in 68. It was an unforgiving journey through the ridges of Kuan. The chill was enough to brittle the spirit of any battle-hardened warrior. As I trudged through the mountains with only my compass and the parachute on my back, Start with one quarter cup of water. Bring that to a boil and add your aromatics which consists of two cloves of garlic and two shallots peeled and cut into quarters. Some red pepper flakes, very essential by the way, and six Can you please stop punching my TV? Why did you even punch it this time? Hey, look. I've already scrolled through all the channels and I couldn't find a single news about NSR. That chef had it coming. Is that really the excuse you're going with? Yeah. I mean, what's up with her hair, man? Ugh. And she kind of looks like Tatiana's sister. Ugh. Forget it. <laughs> 